You probably know that cannabis acts extremely well as an antiemetic, preventing nausea and vomiting. Could these effects be related to its relationship with the gut and digestive metabolism? Keep watching as we explore the amazing relationship between marijuana and gut health. The relationship between cannabis and gut bacteria comes down to the body's endocannabinoid system, or ECS. Cannabis interacts with this cell receptor system in hundreds of different ways, working to regulate things like mood, appetite, and yes, digestion and metabolism. Research is lacking on the precise function of ECS receptors in the gut, but studies do show an active relationship between cannabis and gut health. According to a 2007 study, for example, ECS functions in the gastrointestinal tract include regulation of stomach acid content, inflammation, pain response, satiety, feeling full, and bowel movements. Studies also show that receptors become more abundant in the gastrointestinal tract when it becomes inflamed from bowel disease. Perhaps the most interesting study, however, involves the relationship between marijuana and something called the gut-brain axis. You may have heard people refer to the gut as the body's second brain, as the health of the digestive system can have an effect on the rest of the body, including the mind. A study published in Gastroenterology found a link between cannabis receptors and visceral sensation. In other words, the body's ability to perceive and respond to internal organs, including the gut. The gut-brain axis is what the two use to communicate, and it seems that ECS receptors are vital to this link. As you can see, there appears to be a strong connection between the ECS and gut health. As a result, it's possible that cannabis can be used for a variety of chronic inflammatory gut conditions. Anecdotal evidence has also seen numerous patients using medical marijuana as an antiemetic when undergoing chemotherapy, highlighting the power of cannabis to modulate the gut and prevent nausea. There are even studies suggesting that cannabis can reduce acid reflux and relieve symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome and Crohn's disease. In fact, Crohn's disease commonly appears on the list of qualifying medical conditions in states where medical marijuana is legal. For more information on these ailments and the recommended strains to use if you have them, head to the ailments section at wayofleaf.com to see articles written by our team of experts. Although cannabis is commonly used to help those with gut issues, it's worth noting that it can also work the other way. Anyone who has ever overconsumed THC will be aware of greening out, which often involves a fair amount of nausea and vomiting. Furthermore, there's a condition called cannabis hyperemesis syndrome, or CHS, which tends to affect chronic users. The syndrome is associated with severe nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and is also accompanied by intense stomach pain. CHS seems to occur only in users who take cannabis daily, sometimes three to five times per day. More research is being done on this condition, but for now, we know very little. The crucial thing is to always consume cannabis in moderation. Staying within your limits reduces the risk of greening out or developing CHS. All in all, most of the research to date implies a positive connection between cannabis and gut health. Those with GI issues may even be able to access medical marijuana in legal states to help alleviate their symptoms. If you have any experience using cannabis for gut health, let us know by sharing a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more cannabis-related health content.